Every Bucky character went through a lot of training throughout his life and was evolving day after day, even the weakest ones are also developing their abilities a lot. Most of the time with the evolution of martial arts skills or strength the body of that character is also changing, muscles are growing, overall size is growing and sometimes even their hair changes color. Yujiro Hanma is the strongest character in the series and the strongest creature in the world. His children Jack and Bucky went through a hard way of training and evolved a lot as a fighter throughout the series. But what about Yujiro? Let's find it out together. But first, to not distract you from watching a few words about the sponsor of today's video. Raid Shadow Legends, the greatest mobile game of all time is here, a great thanks to the guys at Raid for supporting my channel. If you like a brutal, epic and exciting RPG game that has global PvP battles, massive PvE boss battles and more than 600 champions to play like I do, you'll definitely should check out Raid using my QR code or link in the description. Now you know that Raid has a ton of champions to play, but it's also got an insane variety of bosses too. Let's put one of those guys in the spotlight today, the guardian of the Void Keep, Malik Kavar. This guy was a priest of the light at one point, but he had an epiphany while stargazing one night. The way he saw it, light was not much of it. anything without darkness. Maybe he was right, maybe not, but his fellow priests didn't care for it, and they kicked him to the carp. Lucky for us, he went off to master the magic of the void, so we have a nice supply of void potions to ascend our champions with. The main trick to fighting Malak is dealing with all the poisons he puts out. It's a lot, and he has an ability that deals all the poison damage you could take all at once, which can nuke your whole team if you're not careful. So you need to use your brain and think of a strategy against his annoying poison before fighting him. Personally, I like Raid because it has a lot of champions to summon and each one of them is unique and could be used in different situations of the game. Also, Raid got a ton of happening this month with a fresh rotation of the brutal Hydra boss and a ton of events and tournaments every single day, including some special Valentine's Day events where you can get your hands on a brand new legendary champion. This is the best time to get started in Raid. And if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen, you'll get cool bonuses. We're talking a free epic champion Tyrell, 200k silver, 1 energy refill and 1 XP boost, and also 1 ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. The rewards will be available only for the next 30 days and only for the new players. Yujiro was born in 1950-something and he was already an unordinary child. When the born process was in the process, he could talk to the obstetrician. He said, I won't allow mistakes, take me out safely. It was some sort of mind signals that child Yujiro could stand being only a one minute child. Also he had grown his teeth on his first day of being born. Even as a child Yujiro already was brutal, the only one thing that could make him stop crying is to kill something. And he killed a poisoned frog that could kill 100,000 adults weighing 60 kilograms each, with just one milliliter of its poison. Child Yujiro just squeezed it in his bare hand and killed it. It isn't known what he was doing before that, but when Yujiro was 16 years old, he went to war to fight and develop his skills. He was in the Vietnam War, where he fought against the Americans. Even as a teenager, he already had his impressive high and was very muscular, though not as later. The ogre was already extremely strong and could defeat armies by himself. During his 16 year, Yujiro was quite different from his current self, he was much calmer, less savage and not so bloodthirsty, most of the time defeating just his adversaries and destroying their vehicles. However, over the next two years on the battlefield, Yujiro's desire to fight and bloodlust grows exponentially and mercilessly kills everyone who stands in his way, making him the man he is today. With all the experience he gets at the battlefield, he becomes the masterful mercenary for a lot of countries. Yujiro single-handedly defeated the USA and forced them to recognize him as a threat they can't handle, so America decides to do whatever he wants to not piss him off. Yujiro is the strongest character in the series. He is recognized as the strongest creature on earth with his strength being equal to or perhaps even greater than an entire nation's modern military. 
so as I see and understand it, Yujiro Hanma was born an extraordinary person, not like his kids. Of course, they have Hanma blood just like Yujiro, but Jack was born weak. Bucky probably wasn't born as overpowered as Yujiro. So Yujiro is a character who was made to make others' lives harder. Every fighter in the world wants to beat Yujiro, but it is an impossible thing. The ogre just appears from time to time to destroy someone, leaving no chances. I believe Yujiro is evolving day after day, as he is fighting a lot of strong opponents, animals or armies. It's hard to say when he becoming stronger, because throughout the whole series he's doing some crazy stuff which is impossible for other characters. For example, he did insane stuff like pushing back 100 riot police, completely stopping the tectonic activity of an earthquake by punching the ground, tapping craters in a concrete wall, easily knocking out a giant elephant not even tanks could damage, cutting glass with his fingers and crushing a piece of coal to dust. Yujiro's hits have even been likened to that of a nuclear impact, whole armies have used their best weapons to stop him, but to no effect. His body's muscles are so strong and durable that he is able to do things like breaking katanas and knives just by gripping them, walking through walls of bulletproof glass and shaking an entire building by merely tensing his muscles, although it's also been implied that it was actually his body's aura. In fact, the strength of his finger flick can be more than enough to defeat his opponent, as demonstrated in his short fight with Chao Man. He's also viewed this on a young Muhammad Ali Jr. managing to send the boy rolling back into the wall several feet behind him. Yujiro is constantly advancing his strength, becoming stronger with each person he defeats every day, essentially devouring them, as he himself tend to say, all the while his demon back is exposed. Also, his skill to master every technique which he has only seen once make him an unstoppable machine of power up in himself. He is able to power up even while watching some other characters' fights. Not many significant steps of evolution could named in Yujiro's history. He's such a strong character that his power level is above everyone all the way throughout the series, and it's hard to say the exact time when he becomes stronger because he is easily defeating every his opponents every time. Away! Thank you all guys for watching, if this video was interesting to you, you can leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more stuff like that, leave your comments down below what you think about Yujiro, about his uh, evolution steps, uh, maybe you noticed some uh, significant step that I don't, uh, leave your comments down below, thank you again for watching, see you soon, bye. Me and none of them not travel for any trip In the seat of corruption